judge delays Meghan Markle's privacy court hearing after she applies for postponement on confidential ground, despite her father Thomas' concerns he could die tomorrow. Meghan Markle's high-stakes privacy case has been delayed until next October, despite concerns raised by her father that he might die before it takes place. Thomas Markle revealed that he suffers from heart and lung problems and wants to get the case over with as quickly as possible, because he could die tomorrow. However, Despite her father's concerns, Meghan's legal team today won a 10-month adjournment today at a secret hearing at London's High Court with no further details made public. Meghan, 39, is suing Associated Newspapers, publishers of the Mail on Sunday and Mail Online for breach of privacy for publishing extracts of a letter she sent her father Thomas Markle after her royal wedding in 2018. The case was originally scheduled to be heard next January and was set to last for 10 days. Lawyers for the newspaper did not oppose the adjournment, citing it as a matter for the judge. Mr. Markle's comments were revealed in a statement by Elizabeth Hartley. Group Legal Director of Associated Newspapers, which he has given permission for her to share. Mr. Markle reveals, This case is causing me anxiety and I want to get it over with as quickly as possible. I am 76 years old and as a result of my heart condition and surgery I am on blood thinners which have had an effect on my breathing. Mr. Markle adds, I am unable to walk far or up many stairs. I can't take more than 30 or 40 steps without getting winded and needing to slow down until I have caught my breath. I have had a cold for 3 to 4 years which is connected to my heart and lung issues. I am clinically obese, and I have gained more weight during the past months because I have been unable to leave my house to take any exercise. I am pre-diabetic. Mr. Markle was due to give evidence at the trial initially scheduled for next January in what would have been a face-off against Meghan, who is also expected to take to the stand. Mr. Markle also revealed that he has not returned to a local hospital near his home because he does not want to know if he has cancer or another serious condition. He adds, None of my male relatives have ever lived beyond 80 years of age. I am a realist and I could die tomorrow. The sooner this case takes place the better. However Meghan's legal team won an adjournment today at a confidential ground hearing. On Wednesday a court order revealed by the Press Association said that part of Meghan's applications today would be heard in private in order to protect the confidentiality of some of the facts put in evidence. No further details were given. Mr Justice Warby today said he had considered the request in granted the delay until autumn next year, adding the primary basis on which the adjournment was sought was confidential. He said, the right decision in all the circumstances is to grant the application to adjourn. That means that the trial date of January 11, 2021 will be vacated and the trial will be refixed for a new date in the autumn. The adjournment formed part of a flurry of legal moves by Meghan's lawyers to alter the timetable of the case. They want a judge to determine her case without having a full trial at all meaning she would not enter the witness box at the Royal Courts of Justice. The judge said he will hear the Duchess's summary judgment application to have her case heard without a full trial on January 12. Meghan lost an application to have claimed she cooperated with the authors of the royal biography Finding Freedom thrown out. Last month, she lost a bid to block the book from being relied on by the Mail on Sunday. The newspaper's lawyers argued that she cooperated with the authors amid Scobie and Carolyn Durand, to set out a version of events that was favorable to her. The Duchess denies collaborating with the authors. Lawyers for the newspaper have claimed at a previous pre-trial hearing that it was difficult to see how Meghan could complain about extracts of the letter to her estranged father being published when she and Harry had helped with finding freedom, which exposed their private thoughts and feelings. The Duchess who has missed the court's deadline to serve an updated reply to the newspaper's defense, is also seeking to extend the deadline. A document submitted to the court by the newspaper's lawyers reported that she had breached a court order for missing the October 21st deadline. She now has until November 13 to submit her re-amended reply. The lawyers said, no or no good explanation has been given for this state of affairs. Meghan's lawyers have asked the High Court for disclosure of evidence such as emails and texts between her and her friends to be delayed until next August. Both sides in the case have a duty to disclose relevant documents such as messages and emails to the other side. Meghan was originally given a deadline of 6th of November to provide these. Central to the case is Meghan's alleged role in authorizing five of her best friends, described as her inner circle, 
to give an anonymous interview to U.S. magazine People, in which the letter to her father was mentioned. Meghan's lawyers have categorically denied she knew they were giving the magazine the interview. The newspaper argues she must have known and wants any messages between Meghan and her friends to be disclosed to the court. The newspaper also claims she authorized friends to brief the authors of the biography, and is seeking to see any relevant messages the Duchess sent or received. Lawyers for the newspaper said it was difficult to see how Meghan could complain about extracts of her letter to her estranged father being published when she and Harry had helped with Finding Freedom, which exposed their private thoughts and feelings. At a preliminary hearing last month, Meghan's lawyers declared she was prepared to step into the witness box for the trial, but her new application, if successful, would mean Mr. Justice Warby would decide the case without a trial. He would make up his mind based on written evidence submissions and oral submissions from barristers, without the need for witnesses to take the witness stand. The newspaper's lawyers say they do not oppose the adjournment on confidential grounds but rejected any delay to the disclosure of evidence as it could impact their preparations for the case. The document said, a stay would stop disclosure in its tracks.